Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. In this video, I want to share an amazing article posted by Tom that I stumbled upon last night for hosting website or serverless website on AWS S3. So let me share my screen and I'll quickly uh, show you the article. It's a great article. He demonstrate, um, uh, you know, hosting websites on S3 uh, and he has given all the architecture, all the code step by step. I was able to follow that and I want to show you the end result, right? So if I go to uh, S3 quickly, uh, let's go to S3. So if you observe on this um, AWS account, I do have a bucket called saumilshah.com, which has index.html, which I will show you, show you shortly. So on this website, I have a file called index.html, static. If you go to properties, it's public. Uh, the bucket is public. Uh, and if I go to this URL, I, sh I should be able to see my website here, right? All the information about my website, the, the blogs, the articles, certificates, etc. So what happens is basically um, you, um, you know, I did purchase a domain and then uh, I created a hosted zone. Now, when um, you visit sawmilshare.com, there's an A-type record uh, which is pointing to the uh, alias, right? So if you observe carefully, uh, I just want to show you here. So if you observe the website, it is saumilshah.com s3, whatever, you know, stuff, right? So if you observe here, that is the one on the Route 53. So what happens? So when you go to saumilshah.com, right, what happens is this will essentially point to the Route 53 and Route 53 will redirect to your uh, website that is hosted on S3. Again, if you come to his blog post, I guess he has explained that pretty well here, right? So he has showed um, the architecture as well, right? Only the one part that I couldn't um, get to work on, uh, which is mentioned in the blog post, and I do want to address is uh, creating an A-type record in Route 53. That's the only part that I couldn't get it to work, and hence I had to go through the console and create manually. So basically click on create record, then I clicked on simple routing, and then uh, again, I had to define an A-type record, and then this this will point to, I guess, an S3 here, and then you can select, of, uh, of course, the region, a region, and of course, there will be your website, uh, a static website on S3. So select that, and then click on create, and this should uh, do the job for you. So that's the only part that I was not able to get to work through the serverless framework. But other than that. Uh, let me just quickly show you. I, I have the entire boilerplate code, which I took from his um, blog post. And uh, now I can literally deploy my site. So over here, static index.html. Then I have all my static content here, right? Um, certificates, feedback, projects, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, this website, <laughs> you know, it's fascinating, right? Whenever you now do visit Somilsha, uh, uh, so now this is being hosted from S3, right? That is simply fascinating. So, uh, you know, just wanted to share this video and uh, article with you. So come to this article and do try that out, right? Uh, if you don't have a domain, you can still host a website on S3. Um, but if you do need a do um, custom domain, you can purchase and attach uh, that on the Route 53. So do follow this uh, tutorial and uh, it's a really amazing tutorial because everything is given step by step. He shows the project directory structure uh, and uh, yeah, it is amazing. Uh, let me quickly share my screen. So that's the benefit of having serverless, no servers to manage. Now the availability is 99.99, right? Uh, that is managed by AWS. I don't have to worry about any downtimes. Everything is serverless. There are no servers to manage. That's the beauty of going serverless, right? You focus on writing uh, features and, and you focus more on development rather than uh, worrying about servers, software, operating systems, and, uh, and stuff like that. So do follow the article and let me know your feedback in the comments uh, down below. And thank you so much, Tom, for publishing this article. And I hope a lot of you guys now are going to develop your own portfolio website and deploy it on S3. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video.